welcome to all of you now we discuss about multiple choice question of 2021 paper cc5 mathematics honors real analysis paper Two thousand twenty one. Question one a. Limit x tends to zero. X to the power x into e to the power one by x whole divided by one plus e to the power one by x. Correct answer is one. This is one zero. Now limit x tends to zero plus. This is equal to. X by e to one by e to the power one by x dividing by e to the power one by x on numerator and denominator both, so we get x tends to zero plus. So uh, this is the e to the power minus one by x, and x tends to zero plus. So e to the power minus one by x equals to zero. This e to the power minus one by x. I am going to zero when x tends to zero plus. So this zero, zero plus one that is equal to zero. Right hand limit is zero. And x tends to zero minus one by x tends to minus infinity. So e to the power one by x tends to zero. So limit x tends to zero minus x e to the power one by x by one plus e to the power one by x. This is zero into zero by one plus zero that is equal to zero. So left hand limit and right hand limit both are equal zero. Hence the limit exists and this is equal to zero. Question B. Limit x tends to zero sine one by x by x plus x sine one by x equal to Correct option three does not exist. Now uh, we find separately first limit. We find this first limit sine one by x whole divided by x limit. This does not exist. By sequential method, consider two sequences u n and v n. Where u n equal to one by twice n pi and v n equal to one by four n plus one whole bracket into pi by two n belongs to natural number capital n. Obviously, u n tends to zero and v n tends to zero as n tends to infinity. So limit n tends to infinity one by u n sine one by u n equal to limit n tends to infinity two n pi sine two n pi. This is equal to zero. So this is equal to zero. Ultimately, this is equal to zero. Zero into zero. This is zero, so limit is simply no no uh, in here, so this is equal to zero. And on v n, limit v n tends to infinity one by v n sine one by v n, and this is equal to this, and sine four n plus one pi by two, and this is the four uh, n plus one, so this uh, this is the uh, pi by two is one, the value is one, and this n tends to infinity, so limit v n tends to infinity, so. Uh, Two sequences u n and v n both converging to zero, but the sequence f u n and sequence f v n diverge this converges to zero, and but the this sequence v uh, f v n this uh, diverges. Thus, limit x tends to zero sine one by x whole divided by x does not exist. So obviously, uh, first part uh, does not exist. So obviously, second part uh, may exist or, or not exist. Whole uh, these are uh, not does not exist, so you uh, not necessary to check the second part. Um, but uh, we check here this uh, limit x tends to zero x sine one by x this equals to zero. Um, here f x equal to g x into h x, g x equal to x and h x equal to sine one by x. This h x is bounded function uh, over this x excluding zero over the domain D. R minus zero for all x, and h x is bounded in every point, every neighborhood of zero. And limit x h tends to zero g x g x equal to x here. This equals to zero. Hence, limit x tends to zero g x into h x equal to zero. 
and hence limit x tends to x sine 1 by x equal to 0 uh, because of this theorem uh, domain d is subset of r and gx and hx be two functions on d to r and let's see uh, belongs to the set of limit points of d d dash and if hx is bounded on the n dash c and deleted uh, neighborhood of c deleted neighborhood of c intersection d for some deleted neighborhood of n dash c of c and uh, limit x tends to 0 gx equal to 0 then limit x tends to 0 gx into hx equal to 0 so you can avoid the second part b part actually from the first part uh, you can easily say that this limit does not exist next question c f is defined in the open interval 0 4 by f x equal to 2 x minus 2 box x then part of sense 3 a is not continuous at x equal to 1 here the flow function that is the box function that is the greatest integer function box function and this is the function box function but flow function means this maps from real number j to set of all integers uh, real number r to set of all integers j is the mapping and real number uh, x denotes the greatest integer function less than or equal to x for example uh, box 6 or floor uh, 5 equal to 5 box 6.23 or floor 6.37 equal to 6 and box pi floor pi equal to 3 and minus 13.47 is the minus 14 and let uh, x within second bracket denote the fractional part of x uh, 0 less than or equal to second bracket x less than 1 so actually any uh, real number x can be divided two parts is the floor x is the integer part plus the fractional part for example 3.14 uh, once is the integer part this is the box x of floor x plus the integer part uh, 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 fractional part this is the uh, x second bracket x and properties of this box function all properties 1 2 3 4 and the graph of this box function is this when a box is 0 when 0 less than or equal to x less than 1 1 1 less than or equal to x less than 2 and so on this is the uh, box graph of this now our problem is this here in the given problem 2x minus 2 box x so f x equal to 2x minus 2 box x so, taking common to this when 0 less than equal to x less than 1 so this equal to box x is 0 so actually 2x if 1 less than equal to x less than 2 the box x is floor x is, is 1 so 2x minus 1 when 2 less than equal to x less than 3 then box x is 2 so 2 common x minus 2 and so on so uh, we can draw the graph of this fx uh, when 0 less 0 less than equal to x less than 1 so this 2x so this is the part and for 1 less than equal to less than 2 and this is the graph of this and so on so on and within the uh, interval open interval 0 to 4 <coughs> so we consider this 0 to 4 open interval this now we have to check <coughs> Continuous at one, monotonic decreasing, and if it's not continuous at one, it's constant uh, in zero four. Obviously, uh, if it's not constant, and if it's not con uh, continuous at x, uh, uh, not continuous at x equal to one, because uh, from this graph one at this point one, is the right hand limit at the point one is zero, and left hand limit at the point one is two. Uh, at the point one is two, because here uh, left hand limit f x equal to two. And because uh, within this uh, uh, 1 minus 1 minus that is fx equal to uh, 1 minus this uh, this fx equal to 2x so obviously uh, put the value of 1 x equal to 1 2 and uh, for when uh, right hand limit so we choose the interval 1 to 2 uh, 1 less than equal to x is the 2 x minus 1 so put x equal to 1 so this is equal to 0 and value of f of 1 equal to 0 f of 1 f of 1 equal to 0 this f of 1 x equal to 1 so is equal to 0 f of 1 equal to 0 
So left hand limit is 2, right hand limit is 0 and value of the function is 0. So fx is not continuous at x equal to 1 is the correct answer. Which of the following functions has finite number of points of discontinuity are tan x, x box x, fx equal to mod x by x, x not equal to 0, 0 is the correct option is 3 and sin pi x. Finite number of points of discontinuity. So mod x equals to x when x greater than 0, minus x when x less than 0, and 0 when x equal to 0. And fx equal to mod x by x that is equal to 1 when x greater than 0, and this equal to minus 1 when x less than 0. And when equal to 0, mod uh, fx equal to 0, uh, this is given here. So uh, left hand limit uh, x tends to 0, 0 minus fx, obviously this is equal to minus 1. And right hand limit is equal to 1 and x equal to 0. So fx has a discontinuity at x equal to 0 only. So this is the finite number of points of discontinuity for this function. But tan x and the infinite number of points of discontinuity or real number pi by 2, uh, multiple of pi by 2, minus pi by 2, plus minus pi by 2, and so on, so on, so on. And there are also infinite number of discontinuity, there are also infinite number of points of discontinuity. So actually, finite. Finite number of point of discontinuity is only one point as the x equal to is the point. Only one point the point of discontinuity of this, the jump discontinuity of this function. Question E a real valued continuous function f assumes only irrational values in closed interval 1, 2, and f 1.5 equal to root pi. Then correct option is 3 fx equal to root pi everywhere in the closed interval 1, 2. Suppose fx is not constant, then for some a b belongs to the closed interval 1, 2, a k not equal to a b, not constant function, this. So without loss of generality, w l o g, o g f a less than a b. Since f is continuous by the intermediate value theorem, it must take every value in the interval a f a comma a b. But this interval contains an irrational number in fact countably infinite number of irrational values it assumes only irrational values one two only irrational values this root by irrational root by irrational so <coughs> countably infinite uh, rational values is countably infinite but <coughs> uncountably infinite is irrational values it must take every value of the in, uh, in, in the interval f a and a b this interval contains an irrational number which gives a contradiction and question is f is a continuous function so continuous function and it must take every value in this interval if if a less than a b uh, by intermediate value theorem states that uh, it must that fx must take every value within the interval uh, f a and a b every value but uh, this interval contains uh, an irrational number irrational number countable infinite uh, infinite countable infinite number irrational number which gives the contradiction and f 1.5 equal to root pi this is the uh, irrational value so um, if, if it is continuous function only possible if fx equal to root pi uh, for every where in the, within the interval 1, 2. Otherwise, it is discontinuous function. Question A fx equal to x square, x belongs to set of real numbers r, then f is uniformly continuous in closed interval AB but not uniformly continuous in the closed interval a to infinity where minus infinity less than a comma b less than infinity
question may be wrong uh, because and corrected form is this fx equal to x square x belongs to r is uniformly continuous on the closed interval a b for a greater than or equal to 0 so uh, you have to must uh, you uh, have, have to must mention this uh, this a greater than or equal to 0 otherwise it is not true but f is not uniformly continuous on the closed interval a to infinity a greater than or equal to 0 not uniformly continuous a to infinity so question may be wrong actually option is correct but here must put this uh, this a greater than or equal to 0 and this a greater than or equal to 0 question g a function f is defined in the closed interval minus 1 to 1 by fx equal to 1 minus x square minus 1 less than equal to x less than 0 x square plus x plus 1 for 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 1 then correct option is 3 if it is not differentiable at x equal to 0 f x equal to x square only for the continuous question interval the previous question a greater than equal to 0 we prove this here and f x equal to x square is not interval continuous a question interval a to infinity a greater than equal to 0 and this is this test proof is here this question uh, f x equal to 1 minus x square so 1 minus x square Uh, for uh, this part 1 minus x square so this is the 1 minus x square actually uh, apply here this uh, application we find this 1 minus x square we take only the part minus 1 to 0 minus 1 to 0 this is the part is this and uh, for x square plus x plus 1 by desmos app we get this graph and for this part 0 to less than x equal to x less than equal to 1 uh, we take this part so actually graph is this part and this part so at the point zero at the point zero uh, we find the uh, this um, at this point zero this uh, function is continuous but not derivable um, because here the right hand and derivative this f does zero fx minus f zero by x minus zero if this limit exists so fx for x tends to zero plus so obviously we take this value x square plus x plus 1 and f0 equal to 1 f0 equal to 1 because is uh, put x equal equal to 1 so put uh, x equal to 1 for this part so f0 put this 0 so fx equal to 1 here so we get 1 actually this tangent is 1045 so this is the 1 at this point 1045 so it will get 1 and left hand derivative is this fx for this left hand derivative and fx is, takes the value 1 minus x square so we get the left hand derivative is 0 actually tangent is the uh, parallel to x axis so tangent is this so this is the left hand derivative 0 so right hand derivative and left hand derivative not equal so f is not difference differentiable at x equal to 0 is the correct option Question h fx equal to x to the power x x greater than or equal to 0. Then correct option is 4. fx has local minimum at x equal to 1 by e. x to the power x x greater than this. And this is the graph. This is the graph of this. It's written this by this Mosa find this f is differentiable everywhere on r plus except zero except zero uh, for positive uh, real number positive real number then ln fx log to the base e ln is the natural logarithm this equals to uh, ln x to the power x so x ln x and differentiate with respect to x uh, 1 by fx f dash x this is equal to x 1 by x plus ln x ln, ln that is means log to the base e that is the natural logarithm 
and if dash x equals to this uh, for all x belongs to r plus and if dash x equal to 0 implies 1 plus ln x equal to 0 uh, and this fx equal to x to the power x obviously this positive so only uh, 1 plus ln x equal to 0 so ln x equal to minus 1 so ln x equal to minus 1 implies x equal to 1 by e x equal to 1 by e L1 equal to 0 and L, LNE E equal to 1. So obviously x equal to 1 by E. Now if double dash x that is equals to uh, from this if dash x 1 plus ln x plus fx into 1 by x. So if double dash 1 by E this equals to E into 1 by E to the power 1 by this greater than 0. Hence it has minimum local minimum actually it is the global minimum also x equal to 1 by E and the minimum value is the 1 by e whole to the power 1 by e. Question i limit x to 0 x minus 10 x by x is cube correct option is 4 minus 1 by 3. The last total rule applying this x minus 10x by x square 0 by 0 form so differentiating numerator and denominator we get this and this is the 10 square x by 3x square this also uh, this 10 square x means sine x by uh, this can be written as sine x by x a whole square into 1 by 3 cos square x so sin x by x this x tends to 0 equal to 1 and cos 0 and this 1 so we get minus 1 by 3 is the correct answer question j let a maps from closed interval a b to real number r be differentiable on the closed interval a b such that if dash x equal to not equal to 0 for all x belongs to the open interval a b then on closed interval a b option 1 it is either increasing or decreasing. It is differentiable, closed interval, if dash x not equal to 0 for all x belongs to the open interval, then either it is increasing or decreasing. Here we have a theorem if f maps a to b, closed interval uh, to R real number be continuous on the closed interval and if dash x greater than equal to 0 or if dash x less than 0 for all x then f is strictly increasing if f dash is greater than 0 uh, f is strictly increasing when f dash less if dash x less than 0 then strictly decreasing function on the closed interval a b and uh, we prove this x1 x2 closed into point in two points so uh, if dash x not equal to 0 that means either if dash x greater than 0 or if dash x uh, less than 0. So either increasing or decreasing. Point C by the Lagrange's MBT for this if dash c equal to fx2 minus fx1 by x2 minus x1. By if dash c greater than 0, we prove here for if dash uh, x greater than equal to 0. So obviously if dash c greater than 0, so obviously if x2 minus fx1 is greater than 0. Since x2 minus x1 0, uh, according to our choice, e less than equal to x1 less than x2 less than equal to b. So, fx2 greater than fx1 for x1 less than x2. Obviously, it is strictly increasing function on the closed interval a b. Thank you for watching this video.